bienvenue. Hey guys, today we're going to learn how you can ask a person what their background is, what their origin is, and how you would reply to such a question. Michelle DeMeo from Belter Academy. our video last week on asking where a person lives. If you haven't, make sure you click on this video next. But in conversation, things are going to come up, whether it's talking about hobbies, your job, your family situation, where you're from, where your family's from, and some of your background. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to provide you with some cultural tips that go along with that that differ from English-speaking countries. But first of all, let's dive right in to know how would you ask what a person's from. Like somebody asked me like, Hey, what's your background? I might say, hey, you know, my dad's American, Italian, my mom's British, I'm French, born and raised. I might have that kind of conversation. Well, how would I go doing that in French? Vous êtes de quelle origine? Vous êtes de quelle origine? Où? De quelle origine êtes-vous? De quelle origine êtes-vous? So you might have noticed that we actually say origin versus background. When I first moved to the United States, I was still familiar as saying it the French way, saying, hey, what's your origin? And people would be like, what do you mean? And I had to learn, no, you actually say background or family or whatever. So in French, you would actually use the word origin. Or if you know the person or you're talking possibly to a child, you might say, tu es de quelle origine? Tu es de quelle origine? Ou, de quelle origine es-tu? De quelle origine es-tu? And to respond, you simply say, Je suis d'origine. Voilà. Obviously, you are going to have to learn the names of these countries and the names of these nationalities. And if you're not sure, you can watch this lesson that teaches you those different countries and nationalities in French. So, for instance, let's say you're asking me that question. So, what would you be asking? Très bien. Tu es de quelle origine? Alors, je suis d'origine américaine, italienne et anglaise. Voilà. Pour pratiquer, vous êtes de quelle origine Ah, très intéressant Ah, vous êtes d'origine mar marocaine Ah, c'est super Ok, génial Tu es de quelle origine Ah, tu es d'origine cambodienne Ah, mais c'est super Voilà. So that's the kind of conversation that you would be having. Now let me provide you with a useful cultural tip that really differs from English-speaking countries and especially in the United States. Before I do so, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you've already learned something just from watching this video and subscribe to the channel to be notified of our next video, which is on Friday, an epic French Friday you're not going to want to miss because we're in gorgeous south of France. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway. Cultural tip is that it is very common to talk about our background in France. That's just something that comes up in conversation, whether it's based on what a person looks like or possibly something that they do in their home, their house decorations, maybe when they eat meal. Maybe they eat meals really late and you're like, huh, they eat meals a lot later than the French people do. And you're like, Hugo, t'es de quelle origine? Ah, d'accord, t'es espagnol. Ah, c'est pour ça que vous mangez tard. Maintenant, je comprends. D'accord. So you might have that kind of conversation where you're asking, hey, what is your background? And it's going to tell you more about them. Maybe what they look like. Maybe it's going to tell you some of their family history. Or it may tell you some of the customs or traditions that they've kept from one generation to another. It may even tell you the type of food that they have. So again, going back to Hugo. Hugo, alors, ah oui, t'es d'origine espagnole, c'est vrai. Ah, ah oui, tu fais de la super sangria. Mm, J'adore. So that would explain why Hugo makes really good sangria. Real story, by the way, Hugo and Celine. Bonjour. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's very common to ask about origins, to talk about origins, to talk about race, color, things that may be a little awkward in the United States. We talk about more frequently in France and we are proud of our origins and what that brings. So if you want to be a little bit more French sounding, if you want to blend in more, let's put it that way, well, those are questions that you're going to want to ask. Hey, what's your background? Where do you come from? And it engages into long discussions. And then later on, these discussions become jokes. That would be the second t cultural tip that I'd give you, is that we have a lot of jokes around cultures because we don't have the embarrassment. On the contrary, we're quite proud 
or if we joke around we realize that it is a joke right like so go ahead out there start asking people what their background is what their origin is get to know them that's another topic of conversation and what I'd like for you to do is for you to tell me your background in the comments below donc de quelle origine êtes-vous écrivez-les dans les commentaires à bientôt tout le monde